quiet, almost looks as if those birds are real. And yes, we've left Madame Field's studio. We're now in a butcher's shop, surely. But once more, it's hard to distinguish between a clever imitation and reality. Lovely grub. This certainly looks a well-stocked butcher's, only it isn't a butcher's shop at all. It's part of the restaurant in a famous Riverside Inn. The idea is you choose your meat and they sell you your dinner by weight. You pick the cut you want, tell them how hungry you feel, or work out how much you feel like paying, and they cook it for you before your very eyes. The green grocery department works the same way. At Easter, Jack Mallandane, the butcher, goes off for a long summer holiday and his butcher's shop becomes a cold buffet. But for the rest of the year, this is the fare they serve up at Oxford's Trout Inn, the hostelry that was built as the guest house of a nunnery a hundred years before the first Oxford colleges began to rise. They've catered for wayfarers here at this picture book inn for 800 years. There are real, live, lovely trout in the river here, so fat and so tame that they'll feed from your hand. So catching these particular trout is reckoned a crime, but there's fish in plenty. And such things as smoked salmon are a matter of course to the students of good food who frequent this historic institution. There's another ancient custom zealously kept alive here where so many eager scholars come to learn new things and meditate. Some say the most important process they learnt at the university was mulling their ale. The Troutian has etched itself into the memory of generations of Oxford men, but not only scholars make up its company. Harry Worth and Peter Butterworth first became customers when they played Oxford in pantomime. If this is a seat of learning, they said, carve us a good thick slice off that venerable seat. Now, play the game. Remember, you're ordering your steak by weight. There's a tradition of decent sportsmanship in this pub. The important thing is to see that the other fellow hasn't gone and got that extra heavy steak you ordered. That's what you've got to watch. And look here, he has. The orders have been mixed. We must swap back, no trouble. Well, the landlord, Keith Mackenzie, will tell you, their Oxford education's in its infancy.